So now I realize that in order for me to target an unordered list inside of an unordered list, I use the child selector that uses those greater than signs. So I want to do something more now because when you look at this, I'm not particularly fond of the fact that all these things are the same color. I would like the stuff inside of here to be a slightly different color. Um, so here's what I know. I know that at this point with this selector here with the UL greater than LI greater than UL I've hit this unordered list. And the other thing I know is that since each one of these is a link it's going to have this similar kind of love-hate thing going on. So here's what I'm going to do in order to target I'm going to change the color right of all these with the box next to them with the square bullet point next to them. So I'm going to create a new selector and I said I already know, I already know how to get to that um, unordered list within the un unordered list. So nothing new here. I got un UL greater than LI greater than UL. Now I'm going in one deeper. You know it's like a descendant selector is what it's called. I put a space and now let's look back at something I've done before. Just for example just uh, this selector right here. I have uh, pound breadcrumbs space P. And what does this target? This says that look inside of the div container breadcrumbs and target paragraph. And the result is this over here. So now where I'm at is instead of having just this simple pound, I've already used this piece to bring us into this unordered list. And now, since I'm, I'm there at the unordered list, what am I targeting? Well, I'm targeting links. So A colon link. Okay. And now what do I want to do? I'm going to change the color. Let me change the color. I guess this is this blue color is it, but I kind of want it a little bit lighter. I think that would be a nice effect. So I'm just going to bring the brightness up on this thing. Wait, oh, that's gray. Whoops. So let me let me bring the color up on this thing just slightly. Um, right over here to blue. Yeah, okay, no, that's fine. I'll just change the color. And when I hit apply, ah, nice. So now, in fact, this has changed. Let's see. And, it, you know, here's something funny, too. I've made the change. I'm refreshing Firefox, but Firefox still has this stuff cached. You, you, you may find this happening to you. So what you got to do is just quit Firefox or Safari or, or uh, Internet Explorer, whichever you have, and then try to preview it again. Okay. See, but yeah, before you freak out and you start pulling your hair and saying, why isn't the code working? It, it's working. Just uh, sometimes this stuff gets cached in the browser and uh, it doesn't go away with a refresh. But there we go. But now, here's the one other issue is that I just wanted this text to be a little bit different in color, but I wanted the same effects. You know, I still wanted the hover state to be uh, that same color and when you click on it to be that red, not necessarily red, but this is for illustration purposes only now. I'll, I'll fine tune it later. But you notice that this doesn't have that happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group together similar things. I mean, I don't have to group it together. If I was going to give it all new values, I would um, just create new references like this over here, but which each one of the uh, love-hate stages, right? So it'd be, I'd do uh, UL greater than LI greater than space, uh, no, I'm sorry, UL greater than LI greater than UL space, a colon link and you know you know then do the visited hover and active but since I the only properties that are going to be different between the two link types is the color of the link so therefore I'm gonna want my visited to be the same color 
as it, it is, I want my visited for the sub, uh, sub list to be the same as the main list. And I want everything the same except the link color. So all I need to do is uh, put the string that targets them in there, like the kind of selector that targets them, which is going to be just like this thing except with the different states. So I'm just going to click, double click on that and then copy that code. And then I'm going to go over here to visited right here and I'm gonna click that once and I'm gonna put my cursor all the way to the left I'm gonna paste that in there and put a comma and a space and I wanna make sure I change link to visited to be the same as that so now notice that what I did is group two tags together by putting a a, 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 a comma no comma, it looks inside of it like a descendant selector. You put a comma, it groups them together. So now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to click hover twice. I'm going to put my cursor all the way to the beginning. I'm pasting that code, that's that child selector that's going within, putting a comma and a space, and I just want to make sure I change link to hover. And in case you didn't get it the second time, one more time. So here I am. I go to the beginning, I put UL greater than LI greater than UL and then space and I have the A for active, A colon active, then I'm going to put a comma and I'll put another A colon active. So now this thing is, oh that went away. You know when you're doing this kind of advanced selectors you'll notice Dreamweaver sometimes acts a little funky and you could and you try to do it through there and sometimes you have to put uh, go back in the code view because look at this little annoyance is that it puts spaces in there I, I specifically told it no spaces but it thought it'd be helpful and put spaces well no thanks Dreamweaver um, so I'm gonna go into style.css and now I'm just gonna correct those spaces that it put right here because remember Sometimes some browsers could interpret that space as something else, uh, specifically Internet Explorer, which we all know is really spotty when it comes to support. And look at all this. I mean, this is just extra space that Dreamweaver just put in for no good reason. You know, that's I like Dreamweaver. It's definitely one of the best web development tools out there. But at the same time, it does stuff that you may not necessarily want it to be doing. So you're always, you know, kind of fighting the convenience of what it's doing for you with uh, the extra stuff that sometimes some programmer thought would be useful and, or it may just be a bug in the system. But, you know, in Adobe's defense, they're always working, uh, trying to make the product better. And, you know, and they have for sure. So now let's see. Okay, again, we don't see. Oh, so it is working, but how come this color is the same. Let me double check my color. It should be the same. Okay, so it looks right in Dreamweaver. Let me just restart Firefox before I start going crazy. Cool. So let's see what happens. Is that now, if you look at my links, when I hover, when I hover over the link, it turns that gray color. When I click on it, it turns red. Active state. And now, Oh, very same effect happens to my sub list. When I click on it, it turns red. So it's sharing by me grouping together. So what I've done over here is I've grouped together two tags. I've grouped together uh, a child selector, a child pseudo class selector with a, another pseudo class selector. Sounds very technical and complicated, but it was easy because once we figured out how to target this sublist, it was just a matter of keeping that targeting and then going one step further, just like we would anything else. And we got the effect that we wanted. Now, lastly, I'm going to put this up online because I want to check this with Internet Explorer 7. And I hope, I hope that all is well. So let's see. I'm now about to run my virtualized instance of Windows XP and let me 
fire up Explorer. Okay. We'll do. There it is. Please, please. Oh, wait. That didn't work. Oh, I know what happened. Just the path is incorrect. Oh, look at that. Cool. So, even Internet Explorer 7 kept true to the child selector and my links work as they should and the only thing different is the color. Awesome.